Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing Rolex reference 116200, the Oyster Perpetual Datejust 36, with an Arabic numeral dial, a domed bezel, an oyster bracelet, and a roulette date, a glorious take on the traditional date. They just this one is handsome, versatile, and universally wearable. The timepiece, of course, in Rolex is 904L Oyster Steel, which is so anti-corrosive. Rolex boasts this steel does not need to be rinsed after salt exposure. And that hunk of oyster steel is 11.7 millimeters thick, which is fairly thin, 36 millimeters in diameter, 44.3 millimeters from lug to lug. And then if you add the end links, the actual distance across the wrist here is 45.4 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. The watch is universally wearable and handsome. It could be your dress watch, it could be your sports watch. On my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, you can see I have plenty of clearance on both sides. The, the lugs come nowhere near the edge of my wrist, and it is flat enough to fit underneath a cuff, especially with that domed bezel. I could recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters in circumference, so it's a great unisex option. The Oyster bracelet, as you can see, is handsomely executed. This is not an entry-level model, and the polished center links speak to that status. Satin outer links, polished outer face. As you can see, all removable links are fixed in place by screws, as is the practice at Rolex. You have several removable links to size the watch, but then internally you also have the Easy Link 5 millimeter in or out adjustment system. You don't need tools for Easy Link. That is why it's easy. And the in and out is equivalent to adding or removing one removable link. You can also see that there are, and I'll do my best to show this to advantage, but there are several divots drilled inside the clasp, and you can use your strap tool to re-anchor the bracelet inside the clasp by putting the root of the bracelet inside of one of those other anchoring divots. So you can actually move the bracelet in or out within the clasp. So you have three ways, removable links, divots, and easy link to adjust the bracelet. Polished interior, again, a sign that this is not an entry-level watch from Rolex. You can see it has a lift lock system that snaps shut. It's actually not a friction fit system. There is a beak and a hook, and the two latch together so you can't pull it open. You have to lift and unlock, adding to the security. Now, uh, the timepiece is nicely executed, as Rolexes always are, entirely in-house. Rolex has its own foundry. It has its own case, clasp, bracelet, fabrication facilities, it makes its dials, its hands, its movements. Many companies call themselves a manufacturer if they just make the movement. Rolex makes every part of the watch, and it's important to recognize that is what you're getting when you get a Rolex. It's not just the name, it's the fact that Rolex took the time to do everything, every part of the watch right. Now this is a 2007 Z series watch, so you get a sense of when it was made. And it's a handsome and uncommon look, as we have applique white gold, vertically arrayed Arabic numerals on the dial, white gold hands, white gold Rolex crown. That white gold is there to resist tarnish and oxidation over time. We have a little bit of a bubble back-like profile that recalls the Oyster Perpetuals and the early Oyster Perpetuals of the 30s, 40s, and 50s, which were nicknamed bubble back because they had a pot-bellied profile created by combining the Oyster case, water-resistant, with the perpetual rotor-based winding system, which required a larger case back. This timepiece is more contemporary in its execution. It has a lush black lacquer base, and yes, a roulette date, which means that the odds are red and the evens are black. Of course, the 31st and the 1st are both going to be red, but it is a fun and colorful feature that adds charm to this Rolex watch. Twin lock crown, screw down, 100 meters water-resistant, and inside, more Rolex. 3135 is the name of the movement. Bidirectional automatic winding, 31 joules, 8 beats per second, stop seconds, and a quick set date. It has those subsidiary setting functions. It has a 48-hour power reserve. It is a COSC chronometer adjusted in five positions. And for shock resistance, it has a full balance bridge and a free sprung index. For fine timekeeping, it has a handmade Breguet overcoil that allows the watch to keep time evenly via concentric hairspring breathing in any orientation with respect to gravity. It is the same movement used up until 2020 in the Rolex Submariner, so it is both accurate and very tough. And again, it is all Rolex. Reach out to me, team also at thewatchbox.com, for purchase and pricing details of this lovely and unconventional date just.